Hello everyone, welcome to Naglen TV. So Manulaga Awas. Aji ami khan yade Dimapur State Stadium di ahi gina se. This is Court Junction Law Sorry. Day. Ami khan yaji yati ahado Act of Kindness aro PhD Department khan bra World Environment de la short program organized kuna luche. To aji lo ahado aji yati la program do. Tahala team do only one earth kuna thagi she. Aji yati ami khan janule para Act of Kindness la founder aro president ba kwa nishna. Aji yati any participants khan do ta 19 of them thagi she alag alag jagabra aro tahan around 210 saplings distribute kuri she. Tahan aji do saplings world environment la opode kora do tahan jana nijor nijor jagade ghorde huvi schools colleges khan di huvi tahan idu saplings khan plan kuri na idu dunia do to make a world a better place a safe planet banawal. Let's have the earth banao karne, ito dahan, ito motif te. Mohan, first of all, Happy World Environment Day, 2022. So, this World Environment Day is a team of only one Earth. Only one Earth. So, this is a team that is a motto that is a team. We decided that Earth is a team. So, this is a team that 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 is a team. Dimapur laga example ekta luishe guli do December month to mohan thanda thaga nai this time do na last last year do thanda bi thaga nai na to uduki karne ase guli do it's all because of climate change na and so what are we doing for our environment tade ekta question ai jeshe to utu laga thabi gina mohan we decided that it is so important mohan so manu mila gina kam guru le kile guli do change karne do ekta manu ra ekla na paru na to so manu mila gina guru li la kam hui jeshe udu karne mohan itia world environment day such a important day de mohan bi decide kuri se phd department aro act of kindness society mili gina kiva ekta do guru la ge gina mohan la society vi benefit huwa karne mohan la environment pi bhal yu gina jawa karne utu la ka moto bhabi gina mohan utu initiative program aji lui she to itia utu moto la under di mohan ki guru she guri do stakeholders kan na dimapur district te kiman bi ase openly mohan invite guri she ahi gina mohan lu de participate guru le utu environment bhal guri gina jawa le to mohan yade aji participations kan do schools aro colleges ekla no hoy na organization kan be aise aro villages kan be different villages dimapur district la be ahi gina participate kuri she like kuta nagarjan bra aro 7th mile kan city kima e na aro alak alak pe ase to sob milai gina around 19 stakeholders tagi she mohan lu de participate kura do aro so manu ge mohan around 10 to 15 saplings distribute kuri she aro mohan saplings to be mohan Mon di gina select kuri she. Ini kushi kushi sapling dia lan hoi na. Mohan mohan la moto du thagi she program du ini misa misi nukuru lagi. Kira ekta kuru lagi which will benefit the people na. Difference ekta anu lagi. Udu pabi naihi mohan saplings kan bi specifically mohan flower tree saplings aro fruit saplings kan distribute kuri she. Aji to about 210 saplings distribute kuri she. Aro udu saplings to aro fear na stakeholders kan nicu nicu la koloni nicu nicu la area na different areas di luai jaga na tahan kuti need ase udu kas thaliule tadi jaga na plan guri na mohan ge fotongan fota ule ase tu mohan aji la program do hoi mohan tu initiative ase PhD department aro act of kindness society huli bi mohan tu initiative ya ase de udu program do success hua do Stakeholders kan kima na ishe sob milai gina aji kam kurado utukani sukses hua se guna janai desi. I am so glad and excited to see you all today as we celebrate the World Environment Day 2020 with the theme Only One Earth, focusing on sustaining 
living sustainable in harmony with nature. I thank you so much and I warmly welcome each one of you to be here today in this program. I would also like to encourage and encourage you all to spread positivity. To begin with our program today, may I kindly invite Pastor Gilang Longkamer, Nukmen Baptist Aroko to come on to come here and invoke God's blessings upon us. Bow down our heads in prayer. Let's pray. Loving and gracious Heavenly Father, we are thankful unto you for this beautiful day. A day that you have made for all of us. A day where you have brought different people from different walks of life. Looking back to the history of uh, the World Environment Day, only one earth was the slogan of the very first World Environment Day in the world held in 1974, after it was established in 1972, Stockholm Conference, and to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Stockholm, Stockholm Conference in 2022 this year, the same slogan, only one earth, has been chosen. And after 50 years, it still holds true. There is no planet B. The Earth right here where we are standing here today is the only planet that sustains life and um, it's our only home and it's our responsibility to care and protect the Earth. Uh, the theme this year reminds us of the need to live sustainably in harmony and uh, in harmony with nature. Now, ever since the World Environment Day was established, it was celebrated annually under different themes and eventually with different host countries every year, laying emphasis on a myriad of uh, environmental issues like uh, uh, melting clashes, climate change, biodiversity, the pollutions, forest, wildlife, and ecosystem restoration. Um, our country, India, also got the opportunity to host the World Environment Day twice. The first time in 2011 under the theme Forest Nature at Your Service. And um, ever since, the satellite, satellite data confirms the improvement in the forest cover in a country. And in 2018, under the theme, beat plastic pollution, with the hope that people may strive to change their everyday lives uh, to reduce the heavy burden of plastic pollution. Uh, the people should be free from the over-reliance on single-use plastic or disposables, as they have severe environmental consequences. Now, the Indian government has also pledged to eliminate all SUP in India by this year, that is 2022. And so this year, um, a little over a month ago, our government of Nagaland has also issued an order imposing ban on the single-use plastic to fight the menace of plastic and serious environmental and ecological challenges posed by the rampant use of plastics. Uh, World Environment Day, it's actually tomorrow. But we decided to celebrate it today, keeping in mind that tomorrow is Sunday. So today's program will not have been complete without thanking a few important people who have come forward to support this program today. First of all, we would like to thank our host Mercy for doing a marvelous job. She's the associate member of Act of Kindness Society. Pastor Kilang Lungkomer for taking the time out to be here with us, to grace us with your invocation. We're very, very blessed. Thank you. Ma'am Imojungla Lungkomer, our district coordinator, DWSM PHED, Dimapur. Our special guest, Ms. Bano Haralu, Social Activist and Member, Governing Board of the Northeast Network, Consultant, Wildlife Conservation Society, and our, our very important person here with us, our Executive Engineer, Vikuto, Vikuto Lee. Sir, can you please stand so that <laughs> everyone can see you? So he's the man behind this program today. So we are very grateful to him, particularly. And also, there's one very special person among our mates who came forward to donate us 150 saplings for the program. And 
In total, we have 210 saplings which we will be distributing today, and 150 has been donated by Miss Watila Lunkamer from Naroki. So I would like to request her to please come here. We have a very special appreciation we would like to offer you. So she is also the proprietor of Naroki Dimapu. Before I conclude this, it would not be possible without all the stakeholders here today. Today's theme is only one earth, which means there's only one earth and we're all living in it. And so for any change in the society or any progress in our community, it is not possible for one person alone to do it. We need the support and we need the participation of everyone to come together. And so this program is going to be successful because of all your participation here today. And so our special gratitude and thank you goes to all the stakeholders here from different schools, colleges, from different organizations and also from different villages in Dimapu, from Dimapu district. So I would like to just, you know, can everyone? Yeah. So thank you so much. And today we are handing out these saplings, which will be taken to their respective villages, to their respective areas in the schools, and they will be planting it wherever they feel is required. And also we made the saplings very special so that it is beneficial for everybody. We did not want to just have this program for the sake of doing it, but that it will make a difference in the people's life. And so even the saplings which we're giving it is all flower tree saplings and also fruit saplings. So with this, I thank you, everyone. Today we are, uh, tomorrow and today, the month of June is celebrated as World Environment Day. But it should be World Environment Day not on June. It should be from your moon. Okay? Moon goes there. Na bujana hai. I'm really bad in English, so I'm going to say something in Nagamese. Okay? Uh, we'll do like this. We will call out the name. So accordingly, when I call out your name, the schools or the group or the villages can participate. They can come and collect the certificate plus the sapling and then you can move towards the side on my right. So accordingly, we will do that. But please don't go away with the sapling, okay? We're going to have a group photo for the record for the people to show the world that these people are the students and the people are those, these people are those who love the world. We don't know how to do it. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you to the organizers for including me in this uh, day. 
Uh, there are so many things on my mind, actually, and I really had to, to struggle. Don't know where to begin. But I think uh, we'll begin at the beginning, and uh, the beginning was already introduced to you. Some of us might be from different faiths, but I come from the biblical perspective of the world, and our pastor, Kilang, so generously blessed us with the wisdom that we need. He said, help us not to be selfish and greedy. And that is what has brought us to the crisis today. That self-indulgence, self-wants, not needs, have put us in a position that we are today. I will not go into you know, the, um, the theme, which is only one Earth this year, which was chosen by the United Nations Environmental Program, because this is something that they are celebrating what began, what marked the first World Environment Day 50 years ago. And when we look 50 years ago and how much the world should have progressed, unfortunately, they, there has not been much progress. In fact, we have gone backwards. And the race is now on where we are hurtling into uh, an unknown destination, uh, an unknown destination in the sense that it is not a choice between the best, but it is a choice of the degree of discomfort and um, danger and insecurity that we will face on this planet if we don't make some of these lifestyle changes which the earlier speaker had addressed. But, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's so easy to put the blame on everyone else, put the blame on uh, the, the global phenomenon, and then in that picture, we forget ourselves. And today I want to challenge each one of you, from the youngest to the eldest amongst us here, that the world can only be a better place depending on the decision and the choices that you make. And the decisions and the choices that you make only comes by understanding where you are, your environment, where you are heading. And for us here in Nagaland, I really feel in the bottom of my heart that the changes that we are going to make in Nagaland, in your home, in your locality, in your school, in your town, wherever you are, whichever place you decide to be in the world, in the future, the changes that you decide to make in and around where you are is going to have an impact on your life and on the world. Sometimes we um, look at environmental issues as something which is outside of us, you know, the water problem seems so large. The plastic solution, you know, seems so large. The, 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 the disappearing forest seems so large. The flood issue seems so big. The landslide looks so massive. The food shortage looks immense. And we think, what can I do? I'm just one individual. But really, what the world has forgotten is that the challenge today in environmental movement, we have tried everything. We have tried everything from policies to activism, to research, to, uh, to, to, to campaigns, and uh, to um, uh, like really, really, really fierce activism, like you know, you have Greenpeace and so on. Yet, the biggest uh, challenge is, is the self is our attitude, is to know where we are. And it is the spiritual revelation, which I feel is at the bottom, the key of our environmental uh, embrace, embracing of our environmental uh, awareness. And that awakening only comes from knowing what the pastor again said, that we are stewards, we are caretakers of this planet. It is such, a, such an honor and even in the, in, the, in the Psalms, it says, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you, have, that you think of him. You have placed him just slightly lower than the angels. I'm just paraphrasing, okay? I'm not 
not. And um, uh, 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 yet you have crowned him with wisdom and, and honor. How majestic is thy name, O Lord, in all the earth. So that, that psalm is, is a, very, um, a very encouraging uh, psalm for me as I work in the field of environment. So I was uh, earlier talking about the uh, uh, issue of, um, um, of, of awakening, the spiritual awakening towards environmental concerns. I want, and, and talking about Nagaland, I wonder if, if, if uh, some of us know that Nagaland is a very, very special state. It is, you know, we have seen uh, one of the most magnificent migrations of the raptors, the Amur falcon, which is something that I have been associated with. But the Amur falcon is just one of the species. And there must be many, many other species of birds that are migrating across Nagaland. But how many of us are aware? How many of us take uh, uh, our... Um, uh, uh, our, our um, natural resources for granted. How many of us look into the wealth that our land has? You will be surprised to learn that for, a, for a, the state of Nagaland, for the size of Nagaland, which is less than 17,000 square kilometers, the, the varieties of birds that are available in Nagaland is very, very high, the density of birds. Yet today, we continue to hunt these birds. And today we are talking about, you know, planting trees. You're going to go on a campaign now to plant trees. Trees also need to survive with, 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 with the help of birds and other wildlife and insects. And so I think at the core of uh, today's, um, my, my, cha my challenge to each and every one of us is to revise and review where we are with our natural resources. How much do we know about the topography of Nagaland? How much do we know about the rivers of Nagaland? How much do we know about the mountains of Nagaland, the flora, the fauna? How much are we aware of our beautiful state? And what are we doing with this state? We were known as hunter-gatherers. We were known as agriculturalists. These, we were known for our weaving. These are three very strong pillars of a society. A society that can weave, that can grow food, and that can hunt is a self-sufficient society. But today, how far have we come? Have we, have we come closer to sharing the knowledge that our forefathers have given us and making this world a better place? How are we contributing? to the world, to make this world a better place. Yes, today, in this year's World Environment Day, one of the strongest issues that is going to come up is how governments take forward the policies that have been framed in the, in the past and make these policies work. But these policies will only work if we, as citizens, awake and we wake, awake our legislators. So I implore the young ones to please make issues around you, your garbage disposal, your, 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 your portable water or lack of it, or your roads, or, your, or, 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 the, or the lack of uh, tree cover in your park, or if, uh, or if you have no park, to make these an issue with your legislators and your, and your administrators. You have a right to it. And, and whatever you can contribute, today you're going to plant trees, it's easy to just plant a tree, but you have to also look after it and nurture it. And do ask yourselves, how many of you have really, actually planted a tree and, you know, uh, experience the harvest of it, of its shade or of, or of its fruits or of its, uh, the, the use of, of, of that particular tree? Uh, my mind is uh, really rushing with a lot of things, but I don't want to take too much time. I do hope that you understand the importance of trees in our cycle of life. They are vital. 
they just don't pro they just don't give us firewood they ju just don't give us timber trees are vital to our ex existence and it is not just about forest cover the you know the survey states in nagaland that the forest cover is 52% of the state of nagaland but forest cover alone is not going to sustain us we need trees we need trees because trees uh, ensure groundwater trees ensure that organisms other organisms live they ensure that birds live they ensure that insects and caterpillars and other organisms that we cannot see with our eyes live they ensure that our soil is fertile so i implore upon you to take care of trees that you see to take care of wildlife that you see and be curious about it because even the bible says those who ponder on the works of the lord they are blessed they are the wise ones so strive to be wise in the end although i have so many things i want to share with you but because we don't have the time now i just want to quote with you one of my favorite verses since we are talking about uh, not verse uh, sayings it really struck me when i was traveling nagaland after i came back to nagaland about 10 years ago and uh, i saw so much of logging around in and around so many areas and it was very very hot it was during this around this time of the year about 10 years ago and this is the uh, quotation and i want to share it with you and i truly hope it resonates with you it says a tree is beautiful but what's more it has a right to life like water the sun and the stars it is essential life on earth is inconceivable without trees forests create climate climate influences people's character did you hear that climate influences people's character on a hot day don't you get irritated easily don't you get sweaty and don't you want to just leave everything and you know be under the fan or under the shade of a tree and not do any work climate influences people's character not just people but people's characters and so on and so forth there can be neither civilization nor happiness if forests crash down under the axe if the climate is harsh and severe if the climate is harsh and severe if people are also harsh and severe what a terrible future anton pavlovich chekhov 1860 to 1904 so i hope you have understood that we are we are all interlinked with nature nature is not apart from us it is a part of us dolphin school of hotel management admission going on overseas man power supply license holder the best destination for every student to get abroad placement now we are at hotel sip tower purana bazar is dimapur nagaland northeast india from 30th may to 5th june visit for free career counseling helpline number 77971881888